A mysterious anomaly in the Earth's magnetic field that stretches from South America to Africa is spreading, and scientists do not understand why. New data from the European Space Agency's Swarm constellation of satellites show that a weak spot in the Earth's magnetic field known as the South Atlantic Anomaly has been growing in size since 1970 and may possibly be developing a second cell centered above the coast of Southwest Africa. The Earth's magnetic field, which is generated by the dynamo action of its molten metal core, protects the planet from the full impact of solar and cosmic radiation. According to the ESA, over the last two centuries, the global magnetic field has lost 9% of its strength on a global average. For now, the most significant effect of the weakening of the South Atlantic anomaly is interference with satellites and spacecraft that pass over the region. However, the Earth's magnetic field destabilizes and reconstitutes itself over geological time, with sometimes even the North and South magnetic poles trading places. According to the ESA, it is not clear what is causing the weakening of the South Atlantic anomaly, but it could be related to the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province, one of two giant underground masses of rock that float like hidden continents where the Earth's mantle meets the outer core. Further observation and understanding of the South Atlantic anomaly could, according to the ESA, help scientists understand more about what is happening in the scarcely understood processes of the Earth's interior that drive these changes. Although we are long overdue for a flip in the Earth's magnetic poles, the ESA says the development of the South Atlantic anomaly, while vigorous, is well within what is considered normal levels of fluctuations. More on that in a moment. But first, did you know that on the other side of the globe, the North Magnetic Pole has been shifting at a rapid pace in recent years from Canada to Russia? Geophysicists may have found out why the Magnetic North is moving faster and faster toward Russia. Disappointingly, it has nothing to do with Vladimir Putin's rugged charms. The Earth's North Magnetic Pole has been shifting its position from Canada to Siberia, and since the 2000s, the movement has been picking up speed. According to a new study, scientists now say they may understand why the pole is moving. Writing in Nature Geoscience, the scientists say there are jets of molten material in the outer core of the Earth, and alterations to the flow are moving the North Magnetic Pole. According to the paper, researchers utilized the European Space Agency's SWARM satellites to collect the magnetic data needed for the study. Citing the authors, BBC reports the molten jet is located much further south than the researchers originally thought in their presentation to the American Geophysical Union two years ago. The study's lead author is cited as saying that the flow made the Canadian magnetic node weaker in relation to the Siberian node, which causes Russia to win the subterranean tug-of-war for the magnetic North Pole. According to the authors, the study's results were incorporated in the updates for the World Magnetic Model, which is used by the navigation systems on everything from ships to cell phones. In a news statement last year, the authors state that, quote, the wandering pole will likely interfere with navigation in the region and necessitate frequent updates to the model. Earth's poles could switch, but we don't know when. Earth's magnetic poles switch every few hundred thousand years or so, and we apparently are overdue for another flip soon. Earth's rotation around its planetary core generates a magnetic field around the planet. This field creates two magnetic poles. Unlike the geographical south and north poles which remain affixed, the magnetic poles are constantly shifting. Writing in the publication Conversation, scientists from the University of Leeds say a reversal of the poles could happen in the next 2,000 years. They warn such events are difficult to predict, but speculate such an event could lead to multiple poles and a weakened magnetic field. This could allow more radiation to pass through onto the planet and could also impact the planet's electrical and electronic infrastructure. A study published in JGR Solid Earth says that it is snowing iron at the Earth's core because molten iron crystallizes in the outer core before the substance sinks downwards. The University of Texas at Austin said in a press release that these iron particles form a 300-kilometer layer above the Earth's solid inner core. The paper states that the iron snow in the core is comparable to what occurs in magma chambers where minerals crystallize out of the melt and congeal into rocks. The study said that the team led by Sichuan University associate Professor Zhang Youjun analyzed seismic wave signals to infer the composition of the Earth's core. The university says the scientists found seismic waves propagating slowly in the outer core's base, 
but quickly in the eastern hemisphere of the top inner core. The researchers believe that the varying thickness of the iron slurry layer is the cause of the speed difference. They theorize that the iron particles have the effect of slowing seismic wave travel and that the substance is thinner on the inner core's eastern hemisphere. According to the researchers, the Earth's core drives tectonic plate movement with its heat and generates the magnetic field around the planet. The researchers say that understanding the composition of the Earth's core may shed light on those larger processes. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.